have an 11 step forward placement warm up for you. First step, breath of fire. Put your tongue up here, close your mouth, kick out the air through your nose. Deep breath in, hold your breath and hang on like you have to go to the bathroom and then just sigh it out. That's breath of fire. Number two, brass buzz. As if you're a brass player, but if you're not a brass player, you're probably going to have to wet your lips. Wet your lips, compress them, and then blow out, make an elephant noise like this. When I do that with my choruses, they put their hands up in front of their mouths so they don't spray everybody. And I know it's attractive. That's number two. Number three is the fingers in cheek hum. So the idea is to stick your fingers in here so that you're opening your back teeth. So your back teeth are just slightly apart and you have a sort of surprised look on your face. So the hum is like this, just and then you can do uh, one, two, three, four, five, four, three, two, one, like and then just and when you're sustaining that last one, see if you can also relax the jaw so that you get maximum resonance. So again, surprised expression in your face, stick your fingers between your back teeth, even one finger will do it, but which is a more resonant sound, and you, you'll hear that just a second. I'll do it for you without the fingers, and we'll do it with the back teeth closed. And I'll do it with. Now the difference, you can hear the difference when only one person does it. You can imagine what the difference is when you've got an entire chorus or an entire choir doing it. The third thing is a nice warm-up. Um, you want as much back pressure as possible, like an angry wasp, and just uh, glissandy first. And again, you can do the same exercise. And the next exercise is a bubbling exercise. This is everybody's favorite. Some people have trouble with this one. You might want to wet your lips again. Some people need to put their fingers in their cheeks and just kind of sort of support the edges of their mouths a little bit. Yeah, it's really attractive, I know. But trust me, this will bring the sound further forward. Again. tones on it. Just sustain a note. Take a breath. Sustain a note for as long as you can while getting that nice bubble forward. And do a bunch of those. Um, the next one is I call lip ring. And what you're going to do is you're going to make the okay sign like that and then create a small opening here and then jam your lips into that opening. And here's the first one where we're going to actually use vowels. So we're going to use an E vowel. And try A. And let's try, let's try an O. And now we've got knuckle sandwich. Knuckle sandwich and it really just keeps the jaw open, the jaw relaxed. 
I, I did use another device where the jaw was about an inch open. There was an inch opening between the teeth. And I just found that, uh, as effective as it was for the sound, I found it was a little exhausting for my jaws. And so did many of my women's chorus found it exhausting. Knuckle sandwich. Same kind of idea. Get your knuckle ready. Stick it in here. And that just relaxes everything, just relax the teeth onto the knuckle. Um, the next thing is Peter Pointer guardrails, like this. So just singing a pitch, let's, uh, let's use an O. And what you're doing here is, although it starts out of your line of sight, as soon as the hands come forward far enough, you're going to switch your uh, visual focus to between your fingers, and that creates more focus in the sound. Peter Pointer guardrails. And next we have mustache hands. <clears throat> so, Mary had a little lamb. And what you want to do is you want to think as if the sound is going over the top of your hands. I'll uh, take it a little lower for mm, Mary had a little Next we've got cheek wings. Now this one, it's one of my favorites. Um, hands like this, and then you just angle them like this, just as if you're about to touch your shoulders, but then you don't. And then you just move them in and tuck your pinky fingers underneath your cheekbones. It's easier to sing and easier to sing forward when you're singing like that but if you're having trouble with a phrase just sing the phrase then try it with cheek wings and then try the phrase again and the last thing number 11 is Bugs Bunny teeth and really when you're doing the knuckle sandwich you probably want to haul your teeth your lips back a little bit too but the Bugs Bunny teeth really helps to an entire chorus to just pop the sound out just a little bit further and that's it. That's your 11-step forward placement vocal warm-up.